after living spaces represent a popular and marketable feature in new housing. We all know pools and spas top the wish lists of most homeowners. Nearly 600,000 of them were added in 2009 alone, adding to the estimated 14.5 million private pools and spas enjoyed across the country. Well, the demand for outdoor living features is certainly strong, so people um, definitely see a lot of TV home shows. They get an expectation for the quality of the outdoor living spaces and a variety of experiences, and certainly in Florida, the climate is very conducive to outdoor living spaces. You know, people want a variety of experiences in their house, and so there's only so large a house people afford these days, certainly, so they find that the outdoor space is a nice way to expand the living and entertaining spaces, you know, for the property. A recent AIA home design trend survey found that outdoor living spaces are still generally popular despite the current recession. In the survey, about 60% of architects indicated that such areas are still in high demand. Spas, outdoor grills, and fireplaces, among other outdoor features, are most commonly fueled by propane or natural gas. In fact, manufacturers of outdoor cooking appliances, fireplace units, and pool and spa heaters design the bulk of their products to use propane or natural gas. Outdoor features with gas codes is all explained in the gas code book, what products, what materials um, you're allowed to use underground, above ground and the manufacturer's instructions um, outline how appliance should be installed. The considerations on hooking up outdoor propane appliances is the consumer, number one, where are they gonna put the appliance? Is it gonna operate correctly in that spot that they put it? Is the appliance gonna be installed in a safe location? Is it gonna uh, meet their expectations? Homeowners purchased and installed nearly five million spas and hot tubs in 2009. In addition, 60% of the housing experts answering the NAHB's recent Home of the Future survey indicated that demand for pools and spas would increase for upscale new homes, and in some markets, significantly so. The Master Temp 400 unit from Pentair is a good example of the propane-enabled pool and spa heaters available today. A space and fuel efficient unit, the Master Temp 400 is compact, powerful, and quiet. It can deliver up to a 400,000 BTU per hour firing rate to attain and maintain the desired water temperature for almost any size spa. The unit also offers best in class energy efficiency and is certified for low nitrogen oxide emissions. Hooking up outdoor appliances is nothing out of the ordinary. Um, it's just a matter of placement of the appliances, where they're going to put them, and how they operate. Um, if you can't put a barbecue grill underneath a combustible porch, um, that's one of the no-nos and, you know, it's stuff like that. A propane pool or spa heater is easily connected to a standard propane supply line, though flexible piping should be avoided as they can restrict the flow of propane to the unit. Installing the heater close to the point of use improves its efficiency. Meanwhile, the Hearth, Patio, and Barbecue Association reports that more than 10 million gas or propane fuel grills were sold in the U.S. in 2007. This was the peak of their demand and by far the most among all fuel sources for outdoor cooking appliances. The DCS Outdoor Kitchen line from Fisher and Paykel exemplifies this trend. Using ceramic radiant technology, the unit delivers up to 25,000 BTUs over a thousand square inches of cooking area. As with any propane grill, the unit can be fueled from a standard cylinder or a central underground tank. Safe and proper installation of outdoor grills should be followed by the manufacturer's instructions. There's strict guidelines on how to install one, where to install one, what connections should be made, and whether it needs to be vented or non-vented. On built-in grill installations, the typical connection is underneath the cabinets. It's out of sight. Uh, it's easily accessible. Uh, just in case of anything, there's a gas control shutoff valve underneath. As with spas and outdoor kitchens, the majority of housing experts predict that demand for outdoor fireplaces will increase, in some cases significantly, in new upscale homes. Well, there's quite a few popular um, features. So fire features, whether it's something they went to sit around entertaining space or it's fire in the composition so for instance the fire features in swimming pools tiki torches fire pits lots of elements like that we've used um, fire several different ways we've used it in a vessel that sits inside the pool we've had the propane bubble up underneath the water and kind of dancing on top of 
the water. A lot of it depends on the materials that are used. And so a fresh and more modern look would be using crushed glass or colored glass as a filler material. We've certainly done it with rocks, make sure they're not river rocks or they can have a tendency to, you know, explode. So a lot of times it's the materials that go around the fire feature themselves that kind of set the tone for the area. Like fire pits, outdoor fireplaces are also popular among homeowners and are equally simple and safe to install and use. More than two million were sold in 2008, says the Hearth, Patio and Barbecue Association, slightly down from housing boom years, but still indicating strong interest among homeowners and buyers. Most factory-made units have fuel supply line access points on both sides and are shipped and equipped with a CSA certified flexible line to connect the unit to the supply line from an underground propane tank. As the unit is finished with a hearth or other materials and components, make sure to provide adequate clearances around air openings and adequate accessibility for service and proper operation. It's clear that outdoor features are not only popular, but also add value. Demand for these spaces is no longer a trend, but a lifestyle choice that a growing number of home buyers are embracing. And learning how to work with propane as a primary fuel gives designers and contractors a variety of ways to add desirable features to these highly marketable spaces. For more training and education on propane as a primary energy source for outdoor living features, please go to buildwithpropane.com or call the Propane Education and Research Council 303-566-1000.